good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are in the USA. My name is Rolly Cortez and I am the Feast Builder of Rockville, Maryland. Maryland, it is known as the miniature of the USA. Why? Because it is packed with so much into its 10,460 square miles of land and water. Maryland is also the place where the very first Catholic Mass was held in what would later become the United States. Occurred long before the year 1634, service was held at Maryland's St. Clement's Island. If you love the beaches, if you love the mountains, the rivers, the lakes, and if you love seafood, we have it here in Maryland. But you know what's best? Is we have a feast here in Rockville, Maryland. And how it all started? Boredom. Yes, God works in mysterious ways, brothers and sisters. I came here in 2008 and I was bored doing work, home, work home and so i emailed brother bo sanchez and i received a surprise of my life when someone by the name of roy facimio emailed me and asked me do you want to start a feast in rockville maryland well yes i said yes i'm willing to start a feast and now we are almost in our seventh year here in Feast Rockville, Maryland. And I'm so happy that I said yes to the Lord. So, if you are in the vicinity of Rockville, Maryland, DC, Washington, or Virginia, please drop by here at the Feast Rockville, Maryland. This is your home, and we will be happy to be with you. Feast Rockville, Maryland. I first learned about the feast when I was still in the Philippines. I was a regular attendee of the Feast PICC Manila. Aside from that, I serve in my local church. Last 2016, without even in my wildest dream, God has called me to become an OFW here in the U.S. I am the breadwinner of my family. I am so far from being excited in this new chapter of my life because this meant for me to become away from my family, my career, and my church ministries. But still, I took the leap of faith, knowing that God has greater plans for me. But my first year here was not easy. I was by myself, I was searching for a community, and I was longing to serve God again. I searched and I prayed. Until one day at work, one of my Filipino colleagues asked me to come with her and attend feast in Rockville. It was of a great surprise for me because I had no idea that FEAST has expanded internationally. Still in search for answers, I have decided to join their annual retreat. Not really knowing anyone, I was just by myself. But I am so glad that they have welcomed me with an open arm. Little did I know that this will open the opportunity for me to become a servant here in FEAST Rockville. It was truly an answered prayer. I found a new family away from home, a new purpose, and most especially, I got reconnected to God. I have been blessed to be able to serve again as part of our worship team and as one of the lead for our Youth High and Awesome Kids ministry. This made me realize God's greater purpose, why He had led me here in the U.S. since I started serving Amongst all the blessings that I have received, I found true happiness and things were going pretty smoothly in my life. But not until 2018, when I had to go back in the Philippines indefinitely, 
hoping that my working visa will be renewed. But through the help and support and prayers of my feast community here in Rockville, and with God's grace and mercy, my working visa got approved. I believe that God brought me back here for a greater purpose, and one of which is to continue to serve in this community. As Matthew 5 verse 16 says, Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. We are blessed because God wants to use us as instruments of His blessing to other people. May we continue to answer this calling to be the light to other people through the light of Jesus' community. God bless us all. From the mountains speak to the valleys low.